Avatar The Last Airbender is probably the greatest animated show of all time, with the show having many fun and great episodes while also having great characters all around. It's so hard to pick one episode and say this is definitely the best Avatar episode because there's so many you can choose from that are great. However, the episode that captured my attention the most was the beach episode. This is the episode where we focus on the villains the most and really humanize these characters. It's an episode where we get to see the backstage behavior or where we see these characters' true selves. The characters I wanted to focus on is Azula and Zuko. These characters who were emotionally manipulated by their father is forced to face themselves in this episode and it doesn't pull any punches. So without any further ado, let's get into it with the beach episode. If you guys are enjoying the channel, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share it to all your friends. Azula up to this point was hard to humanize or even see her as a human, really. She was very cold, calculating, strong, and just seemed like a monster. Most of the time when we are shown Azula, she is on a mission. We talk about having Mamba mentality. Well. Azula had just that, where she does everything she can to not only kill the Avatar, which she technically did honestly, but trying to perfect her bending by any means necessary. She was the prodigy of Fire Lord Ozai. She was good at practically everything she did. So this episode decides to show us her insecurities and lack of self-esteem, even worse than Zuko's. You see Azula getting jealous at Tai Lee because she's getting all the attention. We also see she has a competition problem where she has to win all the time, which comes back to bite her later on in the series, but I digress. We see a lack of empathy she has which doesn't work out for her when it came to socializing with other people. All her life she's been taught to dominate and win at everything no matter the cost. So her being at a party where she has to socialize with others is where she's out of her element. She has no confidence and when she talks to other people, she's awkward and very stiff. Even when she manages to loosen up and gets a kiss from a boy, she then fumbles it in a very funny way. Together, you and I will be the strongest couple in the entire world. We will dominate the earth! Yeah, we know how powerful Azula is, but we often forget to realize that she's also kid. In this show, she's only 14, but we tend to forget that because Azula wasn't allowed to be a kid. At a young age, she was seen as the chosen one in her dad's eyes. He basically took Azula under his wing and basically passed down to her perfectionism. If she wasn't perfect, then she's worthless. So she did everything she could to be perfect to feel worth something. It's later on in the episode where they're sitting down at a bonfire, Azula reveals that her mother thinks she's a monster. That's when it hit me that Azula lacked her mother's love, so she went all in to gain the approval of her father. She also lacks an identity and can only form a sense of self through her accomplishments. She doesn't know who she is outside of what people perceive who she is. It's actually quite tragic when you think about it because she wasn't allowed to figure out who she wanted to be. She is always wanting approval from other people at the expense of her own happiness. This episode is the first time we actually get to see her be a kid for once, even though it is very brief. This is where we get to see how truly alone she really is in her thoughts and feelings, which gets worse later on. We see her finally say how she truly feels for a brief moment. Zuko is in a totally different place than when we first saw him. In the first two books, all he talked about was regaining his honor from his dad. He had to battle himself with his self-worth when it came to what he wanted, in which Zuko did just that. In book three, his father accepts him back into the family, something Zuko always wanted. His father actually is speaking to him and looks like he's actually proud of Zuko, something Zuko never thought would happen, but it did. However, Zuko isn't happy at all. In order for Zuko to go back home, he betrayed his uncle, someone who has been by his side through everything. So the guilt is eating at Zuko, but he tries to ignore it. Well, with Zuko going to Ember Island, it forced him to face himself. 
a place where when he was a kid, his family went to for vacation, a time where he was happy to where now it's a source of his pain. Zuko tries to distract himself by spending a lot of time with his girlfriend, May. However, he starts to do things that he doesn't do normally. He starts to get jealous when boys are giving May attention. He tries super hard to impress her as well, even though that doesn't go to plan. He then becomes more short-tempered than ever before. So we could tell something was bothering Zuko, but he didn't want to face himself and try to hide. So when he started to say how he felt at the bonfire, Zuko had no excuse but to face himself. He explains that he got everything he thought he ever wanted and is still not happy. He's not at peace with himself. He reveals that he's angrier than ever before, but doesn't understand why. However, he does know why, but he doesn't either want to face it or know how to explain it. In which he finally reveals that he's angry at himself. The question on, answer it. I'm angry at myself! He says that he's confused because he doesn't know the difference between right and wrong anymore. It's there where we see how truly conflicted Zuko is. Him saying he doesn't know from right or wrong anymore really is just him coming to grips to what he had truly done. He had made a choice to help Azula destroy the Avatar and join back the Fire Nation, but at what cost? He lost his way and he tries to disguise it because things are finally going his way when earlier everything was going against him. It's here where we get to see the real Zuko, someone who's lost to the pain he felt as a kid and the emotional and physical scars he has. This episode gave him no choice but to face his true self. It's ironic that this episode is called The Beach, where the beach is supposed to bring relaxation and peace to oneself. In this episode, however, it brought out all the turmoil they had. It almost represents how sometimes vacations don't go our way. Most of the times we go on the vacation to relax and enjoy life and to forget about our problems. But there are times where things go wrong on our vacation and we have to face our problems and not forget them. That's really the theme of the show, really. No matter how ugly or even scary it can be to face our true self, we need to. We can't find out who we truly are and what we can become without looking within. It encourages us to be our true selves and to not be afraid of it. This show is truly amazing and this episode is just a representation of just that.